In the late 1960s, my parents, brother, and I emigrated from Jamaica, West Indies, ultimately moving to Queens, New York. My parents always valued education as the common pathway to opportunity, knowing that it was what led to their success and it was what would lead to mine. Thanks in large part to their efforts, I was able to attend Brooklyn Tech, a specialized high school in New York City. What made Brooklyn Tech so special was that it treated each student as an individual, each with the ability to fulfill their own unique capabilities. Unlike traditional high schools where each student has to go through the same curriculum, to be rubber stamped with an identical degree, we had 14 separate majors for students to pursue. Mine was electrical engineering. With that experience, I was able to study computer science at Cornell University College of Engineering, and then received my MBA at Harvard Business School. Like Ian, my father was also an immigrant. Growing up in Guatemala, my father was only able to go to school through the sixth grade, having to leave education to work for his family. I grew up in Chicago, and our neighborhood public schools were not great. But my parents instilled in me the value of seizing opportunities, working hard, and being resilient in the face of challenges. I hold this memory very dear to my heart. One winter day, my father asked me not to go to school so I could help him apply to jobs in downtown Chicago. We hopped from restaurants to hotels to other businesses asking for an application. My dad asked me to help him fill out the applications to ensure he understood them and maximize his chance to get a job. One of our stops was a restaurant. My dad asked for an application. The man looked at us and asked us to fill it out while standing outside instead of sitting off to the side indoors where it was warm. My dad and I were so surprised and hurt. He desired so badly to have a job and he said that day, this is why you need to work so hard in school. I want you to have opportunities and not spend days looking for and applying to jobs like me. Thanks to my family's values, I was also accepted into a selective public high school where a special honors program allowed me to fulfill my potential. I was the first person in my family to graduate college. Both Joyanette and I know firsthand what a good education can do for a child. But here in New York, for example, only 55% of all students from the class of 2019 graduated from high school ready for college. Things are even worse in poor neighborhoods. Of the nearly 2,000 public school students beginning high school in one district in the South Bronx in 2015, only 2% graduated ready for college, meaning that 98% either dropped out or could not do reading nor math at a college level. There are many reasons for this disappointing truth, but one big one is that schools are not providing students with the values and opportunities that led both Ian and I to success. That is why we founded Vertex Partnership Academies, to build charter schools that can educate students with those values. And in 2022, we're going to launch our first school in the South Bronx. There is a better way to do education. Students shouldn't be taught on an assembly line, but instead should be treated as unique human beings with unique strengths and talents held to the highest of expectations. Why shouldn't every student have the same opportunity that I had to focus on what excites them? Picking subjects that will prepare them to excel into their major, in college, or even be truly prepared to go straight into a career that excites them right from high school. And instead of being taught what to think, students should be taught how to think, to take personal responsibility for their success and act with integrity. And each student must be exposed to a diversity of ideas and viewpoints. That can create cognitive tension and sometimes discord, 
But learning to have an open mind to different ways of thinking is essential to being able to develop compassion, respect, and wisdom. We know that an educational philosophy based on equality of opportunity, individual dignity, and respect for our common humanity is what leads to success. We know it because we've lived it. It's time to spread a pro-human approach to education throughout our nation. Maybe someday a Vertex Partnership Academy can come to your city. Join us in the Foundation Against Intolerance and Racism in bringing a culture of fairness, understanding, and humanity to students in schools all across the nation at fairforall.org.